जी टी वी न्यूज हेडलाइन स्पॉन्सर इन पार्ट बाई फ्लो A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Get the best in TV entertainment with 139 channels, 26 in HD and HBO included. Plus get 80 local flow landline minutes to enjoy on evenings and weekends. All for $225 a month with the new all-in bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. headlines final preparations on the way for tomorrow's opening of the much anticipated independence everything vinci expo st lucia civil service association gives the government a deadline to make outstanding payments to its members murder probe on the way in the uk after 39 bodies were found in a trailer and in sports newly appointed windy skipper kieran pollard vows to end selection team insularity these and other stories coming up in srd tv's evening news and sports That was the news headline sponsored in part by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Get the best in TV entertainment with 139 channels, 26 in HD and HBO included. Plus get 80 local flow landline minutes to enjoy on evenings and weekends. All for $225 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Good evening and welcome to the SVG TV News and Sports for Wednesday, October 23rd. I'm Khalil Kato with the details. The Everything Vinci Expo will be presenting a packed program of activities for all to enjoy and the corporate sector is being encouraged to lend more support to these expos. The appeal was made by marketing officer of Invest SVG, Anginella Young, as she highlighted the activities the public can expect at this year's expo at a business luncheon hosted today by the Chamber of Industry and Commerce at the Beachcombers Hotel. Young said the expo, which will begin tomorrow and runs for a week, will feature a packed program of activities which will include cultural performances in song and dance from local entertainers. Monday is a holiday because independence fall on a Sunday so we have the holiday on Monday. So we're going to have comedy and calypso starting at 3 p.m. and at 8 p.m. we're going to have gospel in glory. Now we do not want to leave out our Christian community. We, we find that a lot of the time we have events and uh, we only have for the secular um, community. So now we are including our Christian people. <laughs> so, um, and we are bringing in Miss um, Bridget Blucher for, for that event. So it's going to be an awesome night. On Tuesday, we have the musical maestros and that starts at 8 p.m. We will be having top musicians from St. Vincent and the Grenadines like Rodney Small, Saeed Bowman, Darren Andrews, all those instrumental um, musicians will, will be performing. The Expo will also feature unique products from local entrepreneurs. Export Development Officer with Invest SVG, Peter Edwards, said the Expo will be used to prepare these entrepreneurs for the export market. If the Expos that we've been having on the night market is, we're not just doing it because we want to create economic activities only, but we want to ensure that our micro to small to medium-sized enterprises are export ready. So come 2020, our um, export ready companies will be showcased in Expo Dubai 2020. That is a hands up plug. Oh God. Yeah. So we are working with them, trying to get them ready, make sure that they're labeling are, are up to date on all the nutritional facts and their branding and stuff. While thanking the various businesses and organizations which have given support for the hosting of the Expo, Edward said more financial support is needed from the corporate sector. I really want to thank those um, businesses and organizations for 
for really coming out, but we're still in the red, and I'm going to say it by $155,000. So those of us that God has already blessed, and you are here, that I send a proposal, a package to you, and you maybe didn't really invest as you didn't need it. I confess we need it. So please go back to those packages and give out of not your abundance, but your needs. Because everybody tell me things is that. But when you give out of your abundance is when God bless you. Amen? No, nobody here say nothing. Give me a hand up plus. You know. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. We need to get this thing right. It is an exciting expo. If you think last year was good, wait for this year. Some 150 exhibitors are expected at this year's expo, which will be held at the Geest Shed in capital Kingstown. Today, final preparations were being made for tomorrow's opening ceremony, which is expected to commence at 6 p.m. The exhibitors' booths have already been erected, and the, dec the decorations inside the Geest Shed, with predominantly national colors, are almost completed. Marketing Officer of Invest SVG, Anjanella Young, and Export Officer Peter Edward told SVG TV News at the Geese Shed today that they are 85% complete with the setup, and persons can expect a wow event at tomorrow's opening ceremony. Um, all the boots are up, uh, just a cleaning process and branding. It's something for everyone to look forward to. It's going to be a really, really grand event. We have the PM speaking, we have the Minister of Culture speaking, we have a number of, we have Caribbean Export speaking as well, our Executive Director. It's not going to be a long speech part, but the exciting part is the performances. We try to depict the history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So when you walk in and you watch to the roof, because a lot of people like to, to watch up, so we make sure we, we put like the um, feature nine mornings and, and the breadfruit and, and the arches and, and the history. National so, dish, national bird. But you know, some of, of the history of St. Vincent, so people understand and I, people don't even know that the Botanical Garden is hundreds of years old. So when you walk in, you know it's over 250 years old. So those kind of things we want to depict. So when the school children or students come in, they have some kind of learn, um, something. learn something. The 19 Vincentian Royal Navy sailors who are back home for the National Independence Celebrations say they are happy for the opportunity afforded to them. The sailors, who all volunteered, will form part of the military parade on Independence Day at the Victoria Park on Sunday. Three of the sailors spoke with SVG TV News today and said that their visit home thus far has been heartwarming. It's a pleasure to be back home to take part in such a milestone event. Um, so this has been planning for a few months now and I'd like to say a big thank you to the Royal Navy Royal Marine Charity made this possible. They worked in conjunction with the Naval Service Commonwealth Network and made all this possible. Uh, what we have done there, what we intend to do whilst we're here, so we have been with the Prime Minister, today we've just come up from outreach to schools, have a good ch chat with the students, you know, and we'll be most importantly having a garden a parade on Sunday, striking our colours, making our parents and friends and loved ones feel proud of us. Take our lead and join up as well, and just showing what the Navy is all about. We're here, if you feel free to come and speak to us. And yeah, we're just here to showcase the Navy and show, show what we do. It's a whole different experience, nothing compared to home, first of all. And um, it's, I've had ups and downs just like everyone else. And, um, but overall, it's been a wonderful experience. And um, coming home, especially in a uniform, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here as well. Gideon Crichton hails from Dixon Village in the Georgetown area and has been serving with the Navy for 13 years. While he is now a British citizen, Crichton says he is first a Vincentian. Um, I've been over, I've, I've lived there now for so long. Yeah, I'm a British citizen now, but if you ask me where I'm from, I won't tell you I'm from Britain. I'm from Vin I'm Vincentian. I'm Vincentian through and through. Um, he, people often ask me, when you finish your career in the, in the Navy, what would you do? says there's only one choice, I'm going home. <laughs> I might stay in the UK for a bit, but St. Vincent is where I was born and that's where I want to be, that's where I need to be. My job is in the UK at the moment, but my home is St. Vincent. 
The sailors are encouraging the entire Vincentian public to come out and support the military independence parade, which they say they are looking forward to. Come out and support your families, come out and support us, and the local guys as well, because they, they, they do their stuff as well. We're just here to just partake in, in the atmosphere of the 40th anniversary, and yeah, it should be a good, good, good day on Sunday. I'm pretty sure the public will be pleased, judging from uh, yesterday's rehearsal, we were yeah. marching around. There's uh, quite a few chairs, so. Oh, yeah. Just want to say, uh, just come out, um, show us a lot of support, you know. Uh, it's not easy standing out there in front of um, thousands of people, but you know, at least cheer us on, you know. Um, we're glad to be here, and you know, we want to show the appreciation as well, you know, for everything. Um, not to only our families, but friends as well. And um, we're just here to represent the Navy. Six finalists will represent their respective schools in the 2019 Alliance Club South Flow-sponsored National Secondary Schools Public Speaking Competition this evening. They were selected from 17 students who participated in the preliminary round of the competition from October 1st to 4th. The finalists are Rishona James, the St. Vincent Girls High School, Eldonte Samuel of the Bishops College, Kingstown, Danielson Fergus, the St. Vincent Grammar School, Sharian Bowman, Mountain View Seventh-day Adventist Academy, Vikron Alexander, Union Island Secondary, and Stephen Lavia of the Intermediate High. During the finals this evening at the Methodist Church Hall, they will discuss the topic, should individuals who claim to be LGBTQ be afforded all human rights prescribed under international law? The winners will re receive the Lion Michael De Freitas Challenge Trophy and other prizes along with scholarships from the sponsor. The finals will be broadcast here on SVG TV from 7.30 this evening. The body discovered at Prospect Beach identified. Police say no foul play is suspected. We have this and other stories when we return with more local news after these messages. The local news sponsored in part by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Get the best in TV entertainment with 139 channels, 26 in HD, and HBO included. Plus get 80 local flow landline minutes to enjoy on evenings and weekends. All for $225 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Funeral service should be one that you can be proud of, one that leaves lasting memories of your loved ones. And that's where you need the New Haven Funeral Home. When you walk through our doors, our work begins. From cassages, to flowers, to guest books, whatever you need to make that funeral a memorable one. We are proud of the quality and class we have brought to the industry. We are proud for having trained the very first certified embalmers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are proud of leading the way in terms of live streaming of funerals online so that your family members overseas could also be part of the celebration of life. We are constantly improving our services. We are driven by customer satisfaction and we are proud of all that we do. New Haven Funeral Home, helping families preserve memories. Star Limited is now located on the third floor of the first St. Vincent Bank building. They have extended their range of products to furniture, including patio sets, closets, shoe casing, beds and mattresses, TV cabinets, and kitchen cupboards, just to name a few of their luxurious pieces, all at unbelievable prices. Don't just take my word for it. Check them out upstairs the first St. Vincent Bank building. Don't forget, they still have the best in windows, doors, burglar bars, rails, and vans. Humanities, Sea Star Limited, where quality and style is our motto. Breaking news! The greatest tile sale in the history of St. Vincent is back. With more, here's Thin Segment Rowdy Face. Thanks, Juan. Yes, free tiles for Christmas is back at Island Style Interiors, and there's real excitement in the air. 
get this, buy 100 tiles at the regular price and get up to the next 25 tiles absolutely free. Wow, that is a great deal. Sure is, Juan. My wife's making me buy tiles right now before they sell out. Uh, Vincent? Oh well, this is Juan Cool Guy signing off. And heading to Island Style in Arnos Vale for free tiles! Wait for me! Yay! Kidney disease is a growing concern around the world and here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Chronic kidney disease is a life-threatening condition which occurs when a person's kidneys are no longer able to clean the toxins and waste products from the blood or perform other kidney functions normally. When this happens, a person needs dialysis. Dialysis is where a machine takes over the function of the kidney and safely removes the poisonous waste from the blood. Since 2012, Health Solutions Inc. has operated a full-service hemodialysis facility in SVG that offers state-of-the-art equipment, courteous, well-trained staff, and a comfortable treatment environment. We're encouraging for early detection. Anyone who is either diabetic or hypertensive and has any questions or concerns, please contact us at 784-451-2836 or visit us at www.healthsolutionssvg.org. Vinci Expo. Everything Vinci. Celebrate 40 years of independence at the Everything Vinci Expo 2019, October 24th to the 30th. Come see SVG's best products, services, and more on display at the Kingstown Keys Terminal. There's something for everyone. Kitty's Corner, themed entertainment nights, and delicious local food and drinks on sale. Everything Vinci Expo. Everything Vinci Expo for we. Vinci, everything Vinci. For more information, contact us at 784-457-2159 or email everythingvinci at investsvg.com and follow us on social media. Vinci Expo. Welcome back to the evening news. The body discovered along a rocky area of the beach at Shrewsbury in Prospect has been identified to be that of 65-year-old Harold Morgan of the same address. The body of Morgan was discovered unresponsive at about 8.40 yesterday morning. The police say no foul play was suspected. However, a post-mortem is expected to be carried out to ascertain the cause of death. Police are, however, soliciting the assistance of the general public to divulge any information that will assist with their investigations. Persons are asked to contact the Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Crimes at 456-1339 or the Officer in Charge of the Criminal Investigations Department at 458-1610 or the Officer in Charge of the South Central Division at 458-4200. Persons are asked also to be advised that information can be shared with any police station or officer with which they feel comfortable. The police have arrested and charged Frederick Samuel, a 33-year-old baker of Dorsetshire Hill, with the offenses of, of murder and attempted murder. Police say, according to their investigations, the accused allegedly caused the death of Junior Bracken, a 34-year-old laborer of Rockies, by stabbing him in the left side of his neck with an unknown object. The accused was also charged with intent to commit the offense of murder on a 31-year-old resident of Rockies by stabbing him twice in the back with an unknown object. The incidents occurred at Middle Street in Kingstown on Saturday, October 19th. Samuel appeared before the serious offenses court today and was not allowed to plead to the indictable offences. He was remanded into custody. Tomorrow evening, Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzales will deliver the annual Independence Lecture hosted by the University of the West Indies Open Campus, SVG. The lecture will be presented at the Methodist Church Hall from 7 p.m. on the topic Construction, Reconstruction and Transformation, 
the promise of independence. The lecture will trace the development of the modern political economy of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and highlight significant alterations since independence. It will specifically demonstrate the changes that have taken place since independence through a movement of land, people and politics. Prime Minister Gonzalez is a scholar politician who has studied the social, economic and political history of SVG and has written several books, pamphlets and journal articles on the subject matters. The North Leeward District of the SVG Girl Guides Association will be hosting its annual Brownie Guides Slumber Party and Fun Day starting tomorrow, October 24th, at the Cumberland Playing Field. The North Leeward District will also join the independent celebrations in Kingstown on October 27th. District Commissioner of the Leeward District, that should be of the Leeward Division of the Girl Guides Company, Dr. Kadia Stewart, is inviting all residents of North Leeward to support the two-day activities. We are inviting parents to attend. There will be various, numerous games. We have the three-legged race, the sack race, egg and spoon, eating competition. It's going to be a lot of fun. The girls will win prizes and we want to encourage them to be in brownies, you know. We want them to come out. Also, it, uh, in, later that day, we'll have a campfire, we'll, have, we'll teach them to do knots, we'll have contemporary issues, we'll be discussing contemporary issues, and that would go right into our slumber party. The following day, we have, we'll, we'll have beach cleanup, we have a beach picnic, we'll also plant two coconut trees, you know, to um, <coughs> show appreciation for our environment. We have various contributors the national lottery contributed medals we have the chorus distributors contributed chicken food snacks for the girls we um, also had ecgc contributing flowers sacks things like that so we we want to thank these people for their contribution then their customary contribution St. Lucia Civil Service Association gives the government a deadline to make outstanding payments to its members. This from the region when we return. Stay with us. That was the local news segment. The Ever Ready Funeral Home at French's is your friend in times of grief. With over 40 years experience, they are prepared to take care of all your funeral arrangements. Embalming, lowering device service, grave mattresses, carpeting, vaults, tombs and wreaths. Arrangements for television obituaries. Cremation is available upon request. Ever Ready Funeral Home offers the finest in caskets and coffins local and imported. So, in your time of need, call Ever Ready Funeral Home at any time. 456-1494 Ever Ready Funeral Home. Offering service above self. Drink today, juicy, juicy, the same great taste, juicy, juicy, the original drink, it's a minty tang, get your red and banana, pineapple, juicy cola, orange or apple, juicy for you and for your neighbor, it's a minty tang, enjoy it juicy, the original minty tang, juicy, Vinci Expo, everything Vinci Expo, Vinci, everything Celebrate 40 years of independence at the Everything Vinci Expo 2019, October 24th to the 30th. Come see SVG's best products, services, and more on display at the Kingstown Keys Terminal. There's something for everyone. Kitty's Corner, themed entertainment nights, and delicious local food and drinks on sale. Everything Vinci Expo. Everything Vinci Expo for we. Vinci. Everything Vinci. For, for more information, contact us at 784-457-2159 or email everythingvinci at investsvg.com and follow us on social media. Vinci Expo. In your hand, yeah. so play as much as you can. Multi prices to be won. Set for life, a brand new house. Set for life, a brand new.
new car Set for life, you're not lost for a bet Live your life with no regrets Set for life, did your day done set? Set for life, December 28th Set for life, check the lotto machine Get set for 2019 Set for life, live all of your dreams Be a winner and turn your keys Set for life Once again the countdown has begun, and time is running out. Shop at Courts today and make this season even more epic with the latest in electronics, appliances, stylish furniture, and so much more. Only at Courts, bringing value home. Spirit, new hope and new energy. SVG, we've come a long, long way since freedom and independence. Now we raise up, we black, we standing tall. So let we take a fresh guard, renew a lot forty. We got to keep working, renew a lot forty and continue building. Renew a lot forty, let's all strive together. Renew a lot forty. For a brighter future, renew all of forty. new segment sponsored by Massey Stores SVG Limited. Massey Stores Pharmacy Stores. is the one for you. Is the one for you. We have competitive prices for your prescriptions too. We have 10% off for of seniors, children under three. We're here for your convenience. Prescription services. Leave your prescriptions while you shop. shop, shop. And our professional pharmacists will help you out. Classy stores, I'm saying. Classy stores, I'm saying. Your health is your world. Located at Massey Stores, Kingstown. Contact us at 453 9112. Welcome back. In our news from the region, we hear that the St. Lucia Civil Service Association, the CSA, has given the deadline of October 31st to pay out members lump sum and retroactive pay. The CSA has hinted that it will be taking serious action if government refuses to adhere to their request. The association indicated that it has been inundated with numerous calls by members that they are yet to receive their lump sum payment. We hear more in this MBC News report from St. Lucia. The St. Lucia government in July said it would pay a lump sum of $1,800 to public servants after announcing the end of negotiations with public sector trade unions and staff associations on salaries and terms of conditions for the three-year period ended March 31st. 2019. To date, dozens of members of the CSA are yet to receive their retroactive pay and salary increase as negotiated with the St. Lucia Civil Service Association. According to the Secretary General of the CSA, Max Stephen Aubertine, there were discussions with the public service indicating that some members were not paid the lump sum. We were assured at that time that whoever the persons who were, who were not paid at that time, if they were members of the CSA, they would be paid when we had concluded negotiations with the government. We said, okay, no problem, we'll go along with this for the time being. So we informed our members of that development. Right now we are understanding that persons at the Treasury Department are refusing to pay persons who are on our list as our members. And it's going on to two months now. Now, this is unacceptable. 
The CSA General Secretary stated that it received a letter from the Public Service last week indicating that the service is working with the Treasury Department to ensure members are paid the $1,800 lump sum and retroactive pay. They have paid some of our members $1,000. That also is unacceptable. They're supposed to be paid the balance of the $800 lump sum plus the retroactive pay. We, we are saying so very seriously today because if by the ending of this month, which is October, our members are not paid, then we will have to do whatever it takes to get the government to pay our members the $1,800 red lump sum plus the retroactive pay. The CSA General Secretary says that members are calling in daily indicating that they have not received their money. He said... The high-profile corruption case involving Jamaica's former education minister, Rule Reed, president of the Caribbean... President of the Caribbean Maritime University, Professor Fritz Pinnock, and another co-accused has taken another twist. Defense attorney Hugh Wildman is seeking to have the charges dropped against them by the Financial Intelligence Investigative Division. He made the, rev the revelation at a news conference yesterday. We hear more in this TVJ report. Court a few weeks ago, attorney Hugh Wildman said the case involving Ruel Reed and his co-accused was a gun without a bullet. Now, the attorney who represents one of the co-accused, president of the Caribbean Maritime University, Fritz Pinnock, has another analogy to describe the case. Well, now that one examines these charges and the law, I would say it is not a big gun without a bullet. It's nothing more than an imitation gun. On Tuesday, Mr. Wildman filed an application in the Supreme Court for leave of judicial review seeking to quash the charges brought against Fritz Pinnock and Ruel Reed. Here's why. He questioned whether the Financial Investigation Division, FID, has jurisdiction under the Act. They are a purely investigative body. They have no jurisdiction to lay charges and to do what they did. And also to have said that they were seeking a fiat from the DPP to prosecute these charges. They have absolutely no jurisdiction to do that. So we are saying that the entire proceedings that they initiated against the applicants, those proceedings are a nullity. Those claims from the attorney, but the allegations remain. All five accused, including Reed's wife and daughter Sharon and Cheryl, as well as counselor for Brownstone Division Kim Brown Lawrence, were accused of participating in a scheme which defrauded the state of approximately $56 million. Both clients are protesting their innocence. So we are not accepting any responsibility for any such missing funds. That's point one. Point two, the state would have to bring the evidence to show that such funds were missing in the first instance and that these persons have anything to do with missing funds. If the judicial review was to be granted, it could mean the accused will be freed of charges. The question is whether another body will be able to lay the charges. Yeah. We will be taking issue with that because what, what you'll be doing here, you'll be putting through these people through a, a process again which they've already gone through, although it's a nullity, but we'll be taking issue with that, that they can't, they, that you couldn't bring any fresh charges in the circumstances. So it, why, why not? Though? Well, we'll be taking issue. There'll be a legal, there, there's a principle known as abuse of process. With the high-level corruption case taking yet another twist, there's no doubt Jamaicans will be watching the proceedings closely. Murder probe underway in the UK after 39 bodies were found in a trailer. This from the international scene when we return. Stay tuned. That was a regional news segment sponsored by Massey Stores SVG Limited. Massey Stores Pharmacy is the one for you. Is the one for you. We have competitive prices for your prescriptions too. We have 10% off for seniors, children under three, we're here for your convenience. Prescription services, leave your prescriptions while you shop, shop, shop. and our professional pharmacists will help you out. Lassie Stars Pharmacy, Lassie Stars Pharmacy, where your health is your world. Located at Massey Stores Kingstown, contact us at 453-9112. 
still going to town for hardware? hardware? No, you don't need to. Pinchers Hardware in Pembroke. It's your one-stop shop for all your hardware needs. We stock building materials, blocks, sand, and stones. Also plumbing and electrical fittings. We have automotive supplies too. And to make things easy, we will deliver to your location. Come on in or simply call us at 458-7591 or 533-1576. We are open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pinchers Hardware, located in Pembroke, where quality meets price. Quality products, quality care, low prices, great customer service, all at QCare Pharmacy. QCare leads the way, providing all your pharmaceutical needs, a variety of personal care products, and so much more. Located on Halifax Street, telephone number 451-2690, QCare Pharmacy, where the Q stands for quality. Twenty-six retail shops and restaurants open now for your convenience. At the cruise ship terminal, at the cruise ship terminal, it's a great venue to rent for functions, secure parking, great ambiance. At the cruise ship terminal, at the cruise ship terminal. Convenient parking at the Kingston cruise ship terminal and the Geese compound. The Kingston cruise ship terminal has twenty-six retail shops and restaurants with a variety of food offerings. A great secure venue for your function with a great ambiance. Also, we offer lock storage service the cruise ship terminal convenience for you at the cruise ship terminal the cruise ship terminal once again the countdown has begun and time is running out Shop at Ports today and make this season even more epic with the latest in electronics, appliances, stylish furniture, and so much more. Only at Ports, bringing value home. SVG TV International News segment sponsored in part by Careers Distribution Limited. For over 60 years, we have sought only the best beans grown in the lush hills of the Andean Mountains of Colombia. Cold Cafe. We carefully select only the very best beans and roast them to delicious perfection by our experienced roast masters. Cold Cafe. Cold Cafe treats you to one of the finest coffees in the world. Available in classic and decaffeinated. A rich flavor and aroma that can only come from 100% Colombian coffee. Cold Cafe. Indulge yourself in our delicious cappuccinos available in classic mocha and french vanilla enjoy them hot to warm your soul or cool to cool you down either way they are incredibly satisfying so go ahead enjoy cold cafe and treat yourself Welcome back, and as we go further afield, British police have launched a murder investigation after 39 people, including a teenager, were found dead in a truck at an industrial park 30 kilometers east of London today. Police say the container arrived by sea in Essex early this morning from Bulgaria. Chief Superintendent Andrew Mariner said this morning that authorities were in the process of trying to identify the deceased. A 25-year-old truck driver from Northern Ireland has been arrested on suspicion of murder. We hear more in this ITV News report. But for a few fleeting seconds after one o'clock in the morning, this was the distinctive red and white lorry as it passed through an industrial estate in Thurrock, Essex. A few hundred metres later, the driver turned left into Eastern Avenue and parked up. Less than half an hour later, an ambulance was called after the grim discovery of 39 bodies in the lorry's trailer, including one teenager. Today, forensic officers were continuing their examination of the scene. The 25-year-old driver has been arrested on suspicion of murder. This is an absolute tragedy and very sad day for Essex Police and the local community. We will continue to work alongside many other partner agencies to find out what led to these deaths. For most of the day, the street on which the lorry was parked was sealed off. Red Cross vehicles were seen entering the cordon as detectives and forensic experts continued a meticulous examination of the scene in an effort to find clues. 
For a few seconds, the inside of the trailer could be glimpsed, the full horror of its contents shielded from view. The identities of the poor souls inside is unknown at the moment, but the news was still upsetting enough to prompt local people to pay tribute to those who died in the most horrendous of circumstances. I came to lay flowers today because I feel deeply taken aback and shocked by what's happened here today. And I feel like these people deserve dignity and respect. It's understood the lorry driver is Mo Robinson from Portadown in County Armagh. It's believed the cab was driven through Holyhead in North Wales on Saturday and the container was collected at Perfleet early this morning. Today the Prime Minister updated the House of Commons on the investigation. Uh, this is an unimaginable tragedy and, and truly heartbreaking. I know that the thoughts and prayers of all members are with those who lost their lives and their loved ones. I'm, I'm receiving regular updates and the Home Office will work closely with Essex Police as we establish exactly what has happened. The lorry and the trailer which still contains the 39 bodies is now being moved to a secure location at Tilbury Docks where the grim task of identifying the victims will begin. The focus will now be on tracing the root of the container and pinning down precisely where and how the people managed to get inside on a journey that ended in such tragedy. Well, that's the news for this evening. Sports is just ahead, but before that, we take a look at tonight's local weather forecast. SVG TV International News segment was sponsored in part by Careers Distribution Limited. Let's go! Turn up the fun! With Chocolisto and its great flavor, enriched with vitamins and minerals that help you grow. Hey! Chocolisto makes you big and strong! The Weather Report sponsored in part by General Hardware, Budge Mart Limited. Listen, the big hardware stores have been ripping off Vincentians for years with their high prices. They are in General Hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices, but they still can't beat the General. So don't let them fool you. General Hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood and steel. And even with a sale, the General beats that too. So go on, compare prices. Then come to General Hardware and save dollars every day. Because nobody beats the general. Nobody. General Hardware Supplies, located next to Yvette's Pork City in Arnesville. Call 453-9000. Bebin, the diaper made with the very best for the very best. Keeps up with them on the go. With a wetness indicator, Bebin keeps your child dry and happy. For quality and affordability, choose Bebin every time. Bebin Premium. Looking at the present weather conditions for this evening, they are partly cloudy, winds are blowing east-northeast at 9 km per hour, the temperature 27.6 degrees Celsius and relative humidity 82%. The barometric pressure 1010.6 millibars, 24-hour rainfall measured 13.7 millimeters, the maximum temperature today 29 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature 24.1. Sunset today was at 5.41 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow will be at 5.56 a.m. Well, the forecast for tonight, you can look out for conditions to be fair to partly cloudy with some brief isolated showers. A surface to mid-level ridge is becoming the dominant feature according to the synopsis. The weather report was sponsored in part by General Hardware, Budge Mart Limited. Bevin. The diaper made with the very best for the very best keeps up with them on the go. With a wetness indicator, Bebin keeps your child dry and happy. For quality and affordability, choose Bebin every time. Bebin Premium. Once again, the countdown has begun, and time is running out. Shop at Ports today and make this season even more epic with the latest in electronics.
appliances, stylish furniture, and so much more. Only at Quartz, bringing value home. Welcome to the Evening Sports, and this evening we hear that newly appointed Wendy's skipper Kieran Pollard has promised to reject the idea of insularity, an, accuse, an accusation traditionally leveled at numerous regional team selection on plat panels. As captain of the One Day International and T20 teams, Pollard will assist a panel that has often been accused of favoring players from different regions of the Caribbean based on its composition at the time. Despite being an allegation that has never quite been proven, it has clearly caught the attention of the new skipper. Pollard said in a recent interview, one of the things the selectors talked about is the insularity that has been going on in the Caribbean, and it is something we want to stamp out. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you're from, which part of the islands you're from, once your performance is there, once you fit into the dynamics of the team, once you fit into what we're looking for, you're going to be selected. Pollard replaced Jason Holder as ODI captain and Carlos Brathwaite as T20 captain. The, the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Rugby Union's national senior men's team will take on St. Lucia this weekend on home soil in a 15-a-side match. After beating St. Lucia's rugby team last year in St. Lucia, the team is looking to defend their title, with pressure being on them as SVG celebrates 40 years of independence this weekend. The official Rugby America's North RAN match will take place on Saturday at the Arnesville 2 playing field from 2 p.m. It will be English coach Sam Knight's first match as coach of the Vinci team. In volleyball news, in the men's first division of the National Volleyball Championship yesterday afternoon, Country Roots beat Unique Touch three sets to love, 25-14, 25-22, 25-12 at the girls' high school hardcourt in Kingstown. Tomorrow afternoon at 4.45, Gremlins 2 will come up against Country Roots in a women's Group B fixture, also at the GHS Court. The evening sports will continue with more in a moment, right after this. My sister's pharmacy is the one for you. Is the one for you. We have competitive prices for your prescriptions too. We have 10% off the of seniors, children under three. We're here for your convenience. Prescription services. Leave your prescriptions while you shop. shop, shop. And our professional pharmacists will help you out. Lassie Stars Pharmacy. Lassie Stars Pharmacy. Where your health is your world. Located at Massey Stores, Kingstown. Contact us at 453-9112. Welcome to Finishing and Furnishing, where a warm and friendly staff awaits you. At Finishing and Furnishing, you feel like you're in a home away from home. You will find a wide range of bedroom, living room, and appliances displayed in a stunning setting. When dealing with furniture, you need to take into consideration the colors of your room. That's why at our Penta Studio, we supply the best in interior and exterior paints. Have wooden furniture? Well, we also have stains, sealers, liqueurs to get that matte or gloss finish of your your desire. So give us a call at 457-2206 and come on down to Finishing and Furnishing today and start building the home of your dreams. The body moves in many expressive ways. The freedom of movement is often taken for granted until that freedom is restricted by pain. Maya's Pain Kill Gel is scientifically formulated to alleviate muscle and joint inflammation. With this gel, you can target the pain in areas where it's needed the most. Bring the joy of movement back into your life with Maya's Pain Kill Gel, available at leading stores and pharmacies in SVG. The countdown has begun, and time is running out. Shop at Quartz today and make this season even more epic with the latest in electronics. 
appliances, stylish furniture, and so much more. Only at Courts, bringing value home. It's a renewing of spirit, new hope, and new energy. SVG, we've come a long, long way since freedom and independence. Now we raise up, we black, we stand in tall. So let me take a fresh guard, we knew a lot for We got to keep working. Renew a lot for and continue building. Renew a lot for let's all strive together. Renew a lot for for a brighter future. Renew a lot for Welcome back. Pride and Joy defeated Greg's FC 2-0 yesterday afternoon in a, group, in a Group B club division match of the Hyrule National Lotteries Authority Northeast Football League at the Chile playing field in Georgetown. Janiel Swift netted twice in the 29th and 66th minute to give Pride and Joy their victory. The Northeast Championship will continue tomorrow afternoon with, group, with a Group A division clash between Desco and Jabel's FC at 4.15, also at the Chile playing field. In Community College football, year two, arts, sciences, and general studies remained unbeaten, while there were also wins for year two, technical and vocational, and year one, arts, sciences, and general studies, when match day four of the French, French Veranda National Lotteries Authority, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines Community College Invitation Football Championship continued yesterday at the Sign Hill playing field. Year two, arts and sciences, and general studies, that's year two arts, sciences, and general studies came from two goals down to beat just graduated combined unit 3 2. In other results, year two divisional arts, uh, year two division of arts, sciences, and general studies gained a 1 0 win over Jebel's through a goal scored by Captain Joel Jack in the 37th minute. Year two technical and vocational beat division of teacher and nursing education combined 1 0. That championship will continue on Friday, also at the Sign Hill playing field. And with that, that's how we end sports for this evening. We'll be right back to wrap things up. L.A. Unique Upholstery. Quality at a low cost. We build to suit your needs. Contact us at Redemption Shops, 457-0182 or Stony Grounds, 453-2089. Once again, the countdown has begun, and time is running out. Shop at Courts today and make this season even more epic with the latest in electronics, appliances, stylish furniture, and so much more. Only at Courts, bringing value home. And now we take a second look at the headlines for this evening. Final preparations underway for tomorrow's opening of the much-anticipated Independence Everything Vinci Expo. The St. Lucia Civil Service Association gives the government a deadline to make outstanding payments to its members. Murder probe underway in the UK after 39 bodies were found in a trailer. And in sports, newly appointed Wendy's skipper Kieran Pollard vows to end selection team insularity. On behalf of all of us here at SVG TV, thanks for viewing. Don't forget you can visit our Facebook page for a recap of the news and for daily headlines. And also remember to tune in at 12.45 for SVG TV's News in 15. 
My name is Carlo Cato. Have a good evening and happy independence. Hardware stores have been ripping off incentions for years with their high prices. They pay general hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices, but they still can't beat the general. So, don't let them fool you. General hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood, and steel. And even with a sale, the general beats that too. So, go on, compare prices. Then come to general hardware and save dollars every day. Because nobody Nobody beats the general. Nobody. General Hardware Supplies, located next to Evet's Pork City in Arnesville. Call 453-9000. wide range of furniture, right here at Singer, affordable beds and mattresses, right here at Singer, washing machines to make your laundry clean and fresh, Singer is a family store, that gives you the best, the best higher purchase deal, right here at Singer, we'll outfit your home, right here at Singer, the number one family store, it's us with Singer. Shut for life is back again, your favorite gym. SUV plus 50 grand 50. 50 and 25 grand Woo! Second and third prize in your hand yeah! So play as much as you can Monthly prizes to be won Set for life, a brand new house Set for life, a brand new car Set for life, ten dollars for a bet Live your life with no regrets Set for life, did your day done set Set for life, December 28th Set for life, check the lotto machine Get set for 2019 Set for life, live all of your dreams Be your winner The countdown has begun, and time is running out. Shop at Ports today and make this season even more epic with the latest in electronics, appliances, stylish furniture, and so much more. Only at Courts, bringing value home. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream.